Emmanuel Macron is wrapping up a three-day state visit to China this Friday. On the final leg of his visit, the French president is due to meet with students and then dine with Chinese President Xi Jinping. On Thursday, the two leaders discussed the war in Ukraine, and Macron told President Xi that he was counting on him to bring Vladimir Putin to his senses. Our correspondent in Beijing, Yena Li, has the latest. Emmanuel Macron doesn't seem to have achieved much on the war on Ukraine and the Elysee Palace is surely hoping that uh, things will be better this uh, Friday before coming uh, to China and a source that the Elysee told us uh, that they really believed in this reported special relationship between uh, the uh, two presidents and that Emmanuel Macron might be able to convince President Xi to use his influence on President uh, Putin. Macron thanked Xi at least twice in front of the press on Thursday for the time that he has allocated to the French leader. Now, the idea behind this trip was never about obtaining a concrete condemnation of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. That wasn't realistic at all. The realistic goals they were seeking out for was perhaps um, for China to show a stronger stance and a condemnation of uh, the Kremlin's threats of uh, deploying nuclear weapons on, on Belarusian territory, the abduction of Ukrainian children and perhaps even a call to uh, President uh, Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine. For now, Xi Jinping has only vaguely mentioned those first two points. On the latter point uh, about that call, uh, Volodymyr Zelensky, it was Ursula von der Leyen, the EU Commission president, who was in Beijing on the invitation of President Emmanuel Macron, who had said after her sit down with President Xi that the Chinese leader told her that he would call President Zelensky when the time and the moment uh, are right. In the end, this last meeting between Xi and Macron might even be less about getting Xi to budge positively for Ukraine and more about reminding him not to side even more with Moscow.